I still think the uh, Biogen news um, is, is top of mind right now uh, with aducanumab. Um, we haven't really seen much more data, but the, we, we know that Biogen is going to the FDA at some point this year um, to see if they can get an approval. And, uh, you know, we don't know what that's going to look like, whether it's going to be approved, whether it'll be a coverage, you know, we just don't know. But, but I think that's, that was the most exciting news, I think, that we had during the year, because this was a, a monoclonal antibody that was targeting amyloid. It was the first trial, or, or one of the first two trials, I'll say, where everyone who went into the trial had to have a positive beta amyloid scan. So we knew the target was there. We knew that 100% of the people that went in had uh, Alzheimer's disease. And then they were treated with an anti-amyloid antibody and the antibody worked. It clearly removed beta amyloid plaques from the brain. So it hit its target. We could show target engagement. And at the highest dose and the people that were on the highest dose for the longest period of time, it looked like there was a statistically significant slowing of cognitive decline. Um, it, you know, this is all, all of it is really exciting because it, it shows how we can do clinical trials now in a rigorous fashion, you know, comparable to other disease states, you know, where we can, we can uh, enroll people where we're confident they have not only the disease, but the target under investigation. And we're going to need more of that. We need more biomarkers. That's why, the, again, the Diagnostics Accelerator with Bill Gates and the Gates Ventures people is, is so important because this is, you know, a $50 million program to help develop better biomarkers for use in clinical trials on new targets, inflammation, epigenetics, mitochondrial dysfunction. But this is the first time that we've really had a really rigorous, well-done trial. I mean, if you think about it, all these other trials that failed, maybe they failed because 30% of the people that went into the trial didn't have the disease. That's what the data looked like. So I really think the Biogen study is a, is a landmark study, whether it gets approved or not. But, um, but I, I, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see.